The next topic in today's lecture is model matching. Remember that the purpose of this course is to design controllers so that a system meets certain specifications. The first type of control scheme we will examine is model matching. Model matching involves deriving a controller so that the system has a given closed loop transfer function. One type of system that we try to match is an ITAE, which has a zero steady state area for various types of inputs. Another system that we try to match is the deadbeat system, which has a response that settles quickly to the final value with minimal overshoot. So first, let's derive the equation that we use when we do model matching. In class activity two. For a unity feedback control system with a plant, GP of S, and a controller, GC of S, and a closed loop transfer function, G naught of S, Derive an expression for the controller given the plant and the closed loop transfer function. Here I have drawn the, the unity feedback control system. And notice for unity feedback, the gain of the feedback is no longer H of S, it's simply one. So you represent that as a wire, which would have a gain of one. So first, in lecture 1-1, we derive the closed loop transfer function. So I'll write that here as GC GP over one plus GC GP. Another way to denote T of S is just G naught, the closed loop transfer function. So G naught is equal to GC GP over one plus GC GP. And our goal is to solve for GC. So we're going to have G naught times one plus GC GP equals GC, GP. So now I'm going to move all the terms that include GC to the right side of the equation. So G naught is equal to GC, GP minus GC, GP, G naught. Then on the right side of the equation, I'm going to factor out GC. So I'm going to have G naught is equal to GC GP times one minus G naught. And finally, when we solve for GC, we get that GC is equal to G naught over GP times one minus G naught. Now let's suppose that we wanted to represent the plant transfer function in terms of its numerator and denominator. So GP would be equal to the numerator of the plant over the denominator of the plant. And we wanted to represent G naught, the closed loop transfer function, as the numerator N naught over the denominator D naught. Let's rewrite the expression for GC in terms of the numerator and denominator for the plant and the closed loop transfer function. And we get GC is equal to N naught over D naught divided by NP over DP times one minus N naught over D naught. And finally, simplifying this expression to get rid of the complex fractions, we get that GC is equal to N naught DP over NP times D naught minus N naught. Or multiplying out the denominator, we can write this as N naught DP over NP D naught minus NP N naught. Now let's see an example of model matching. In class activity three, Given a unity feedback control system with a plant GP of S equal one over S plus one and a controller GC of S, determine the controller so that the closed loop system matches the following second order ITAE. Next, determine the controller so that the closed loop system matches the following third order deadbeat system. So first, let's identify the numerator and denominator of the plant. The numerator, of the plant 
is equal to one. The denominator of the plant is equal to S plus one. The numerator of the desired closed loop transfer function is four and the denominator of the desired closed loop transfer function is S squared plus 2.8S plus four. So using the equation that we just derived, GC of S is equal to N naught DP, which is four times S plus one over NP D naught, which is S squared plus 2.AS plus four, minus NP N naught, which is four. So the closed loop transfer function simplifies to four times S plus one over S times S plus 2.8. So this is the required controller that you need in order to get a closed loop transfer function that's a second order ITAE. Now let's try the third order deadbeat. For the third order deadbeat, the numerator and denominator of the plant is the same, but now the numerator of the closed loop transfer function is an eight, and the denominator of the closed loop transfer function is S cubed plus 2.8 S squared plus 8.8S plus eight. The controller GC of S is equal to N naught DP, which is eight times S plus one, over the denominator NPD naught, which is S cubed plus 3.8S squared plus 8.8S plus eight minus NPN naught, which is eight. And the controller simplifies to eight times S plus one over S times the quantity S squared plus 3.8 S plus 8.8. And this concludes today's lecture on block diagrams, Mason's gain rule, and model matching.